Welcome to the VEX Robotics Competition Referee Training Videos, designed for both referees and teams to learn from. This is Chapter 12, Scoring a Match. In this video, we're going to discuss the process and mechanics of scoring a match to ensure that scores are counted both accurately and in a timely fashion. Let's talk about the autonomous period first. At the end of the autonomous period, you do not need to count the exact score. All you need to know is which alliance has the most points. Usually, this can and should be done just by eyeballing the field and awarding the bonus to the clear winner. However, if it looks close, you may have to do a quick count. When doing quick counts in Skyrise, don't forget post ownership along with cubes scored on posts. Also remember the floor goals along with sky rise sections and cubes on sky rises. A quick tip, you can use the method of cancellation or comparative score between blue and red to figure out who is ahead. Once you've determined the autonomous winner, let the scorekeeper know who won the autonomous bonus so the match can be resumed. Also, make a note on your scorecard. Tip, some refs like holding up a red or blue robot flag to signal the autonomous bonus winner to the scorer's table. During match play, Refs can note certain scored items to help facilitate end of match scoring. Each ref crew should come up with its own system that's very efficient to keep the event on schedule and also very accurate. At the end of the match, we recommend that you score in the following order. 1. Skyrise sections built, then 2. Cubes on skyrises, then three, post ownership. Then four, cubes on a post. Then five, floor goals. As soon as the score has been counted, clearly signal the all clear to allow teams to retrieve their robots. You can even do this once you've counted all scoring situations involving robots touching or not touching objects as you finish the rest of your counting while the teams retrieve their robots and the next teams set up. Working in parallel like this will definitely speed up your process without sacrificing quality. Lastly, make sure you turn in a legible score sheet and you've clearly indicated any DQs or no-shows. After that, help get the field reset for the next match. That's all for chapter 12, but make sure you check out the previous 11 chapters on various specific refereeing issues. And if you have further questions, remember, the VEX Robotics Competition Game Manual is your best friend. Take a look to see if your answer is in there first, and if not, head on over to VEXforum.com and ask us a question in the official Q&A forum. Thanks for watching, and good luck at your events. Thank you.